Hey guys, welcome back to Women Time Daily. This is Emily, and in this channel, we strive to motivate, uplift, and inspire women through topics like motherhood, creativity, fashion, health, wellness, and so much more. So make sure you subscribe down below, that way you can get up to date on any new videos we post. And for this video, we're gonna be showing how I fashion illustrate um, on my iPad using Procreate. So grab your iPad, grab your pencil, your Apple Pencil, I mean, and let's get started. Here is a quick sketch that I did probably about a year ago. And this is just like the time-lapse replay. So what I'm gonna be showing you is how I use a croquis from Pinterest, trace that, and then just do a sketch of an idea. And you'll see here, I actually brought this specific sketch to life. So um, I custom made the fabric and I got it shipped here. And I made the actual top and the jeans. I just kind of decorated with paint. But this is how you would use this technique is croquis, sketch, and then put your idea into place. So first I'm going to go to Pinterest and get a croquis. You just type in croquis fashion illustration and so many different ones will pop up. So scrolling down here, um, there's a little video on one that they sketched out the entire body. And I don't like doing this because I will take hours to try and perfect the body. So because of that, it's just so much easier for me just to pick a croquis that someone already made perfectly and just tracing over it. So I'm gonna choose this photo here. I'm gonna download the image to save to my photos and then upload it to my canvas on Procreate. You're just gonna insert a photo and it goes in as its own layer. So I'm gonna make it big, choose which doll I want. I decided for the last one and then I'm gonna make it as big as the paper size and create a new layer. Now I'm gonna choose the brush, which in this case, I'm going to use the studio pen and make the size small. So that way I can trace the entire croquis. And then here I'm just going to trace an entire thing. By the way, if you hear music in the background, my son is watching cartoons. So that is what is going on back here. Anyways, um, yeah, just trace the body. I don't do the details like that top and the waistline and the like bikini line because I don't need that. So I just do like the outside, like the body part, all the way through. And then after you get close to being done, you're going to hide the layer of the um, image that you inserted so you can see if you missed any spots. So shortly he'll, here, you will see me do that. So I'm gonna do the feet. Now I'm going to hide the image and I can see at the inner thigh I missed a piece, so I'm just gonna redo that. And now I'm gonna choose a skin color. So for the skin color, um, I'm gonna use like a painting brush. So I use Spectra in this case, and these are all free brushes that come with the app, and then create a new layer. So I'm just gonna, I like messy kind of sketches, so I just kind of do it messily, I don't do it perfectly. And then I just kind of fill it in. I don't really worry about being too much inside the lines because I kind of fix that afterwards. And then after I finish, I'm gonna put that layer underneath the layer of the um, body croquis so that it goes under. And then I use a um, eraser just to fix up the corners that are too out of the lines. And now we can continue. So I'm gonna go back to my studio pen and I'm just gonna make a quick little dress. So you'll see kind of my techniques here. I like to put dart lines at the waist and then um, put some lines for cleavage. 
and then I kind of do the squiggly line technique and from here I'm gonna erase everything in the skirt so I go down to the layers that the, the body paint and the croquis are and I'm just gonna erase as much as I can because for the most part you, you're gonna paint over it but I like to get it out the way and you'll see here I don't do it perfectly it's just so I can kind of see what's going on and how everything's looking and then from here I'm going to use um, that black pen again so I can draw the ruffles of the skirt so I just kind of go at the top of each squiggly and draw up and now I'm just gonna fill in um, both the top and the bottom with a color that I want so I decided to go for like a two-tone type like orangey colored dress and then just do a lighter orange on the top and now I'm going to um, just fix up the lines and time for shading so now I want to do like a shadow so I'm just going to use a color darker and then just do a little bit of a shadow underneath and then same with the underneath the ruffles I'm just going to use a darker color just to kind of give shadow more depth to the image again I don't do it perfectly because I just kind of I like rough sketches and then we are going to continue on with the hair. For the hair, I'm going to try and draw a circle. Um, you'll see it takes me a couple tries before I like the circle I use. But um, a circle and then like the hairline part. And then I'm just going to draw straight lines or curved lines up towards the bun until it's kind of nice and full. And I'm also going to use two different colors. So I use a black and then I use kind of like a darker brown. And then in the bun, I'll go one way and then a different direction with the hair. Now I'm going to try and fill it in with a different shade of brown. And then I'm going to give some loose hairs at the ends. And that's it for a messy bun look. Then I'm going to add some earrings. I'm just going to do kind of like a chain type look. So I draw like teardrops and then um, I'll be filling, filling it in with like shadow and kind of light um, colors. And so just put light on one side and then darker gold on the other. To give it some depth and then I'm gonna do a chain belt and let it loop out as if she was moving and now I'm gonna go to the purse so for the purse I'm just I want to do like a Dior saddlebag but it's gonna be you know an Emily saddlebag so I'm going to go for that saddlebag shape and then um, add some depth to it. And now I'm going to erase the very corner to put in a gold E. So the Dior saddlebag usually has, you know, the D. And then I'm going to add in that dark orange on the side and put in a bunch of E's because on the Dior one it's just a bunch of Dior's. So we got our knockoff Dior saddlebag here. That's like one of my dream bags by the way. I told myself if I do good this year that I would buy myself a Dior saddlebag as a gift. Now I'm going to draw on the shoes. Shoes are my least favorite thing to do because I'm not perfect at it and you'll see. I just kind of fill it in as like a flat type and then like a tie around the shoe. And 
that is pretty much it. I'm gonna go ahead and sign my name. Oh, I also usually do lips. So here I'll just fill it in with pink. And then I do a darker color for the midline. And then I use a like a white for um, like light. And now I'll just show you that time lapse replay. And this is how I usually do my sketches. This is how I get my ideas across, how I um, plan before I, I make an outfit. I use this croquis and hopefully it is easy for you guys to do and clear. For watching i hope this video was clear and concise if not make sure you just comment down below and ask me questions also if you would like to help support our writers our youtubers all of the girls involved in woman time daily then make sure to hit up our shop we have super cute hats in white this is stone and we have one more color called khaki but make sure you go check that out it's at womantimedaily.com shop Make sure you follow our Instagram at Woman Time Daily. Help us out by subscribing down below, like this video, and comment down other ideas you want to see from us. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.